Hey everyone, back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today we are taking a look at the final prototype of my collaboration tent with Free Spirit Recreation. Now if you want to get a little bit of a background on this tent project and kind of where we're at in this process, I will leave two video links in the description down below. The first video was kind of like the first prototype. It was really a white label tent that we used as a basis to figure out where we wanted to go with this tent. I tested that thing out, I gave some feedback on things that I liked, that I didn't like, and we kind of went from there. The second video is highlighting the second prototype, which I used for a majority of last summer, and that is where we really got into the nitty gritty of changing different production methods, using different materials, a new frame structure, and a lot of different things, which really pushed this project forward. Now I currently have the version three prototype and the final prototype on my truck right now, and this is is so close to production, I can almost taste it. By the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys order dates, price point, a party that we're actually gonna be hosting so you guys can come and check this tent out in person. There's a whole lot of details to get into, so start by watching those first two videos. If you're already up to speed, let's just jump right into it. Now first and foremost, we have finally come to a naming decision of this tent, and if you are familiar with the other tents in the Free Spirit line, this one will make a lot of sense. This tent is now going to be known as the FSR Aspen Light. Since this has been a pretty strong collaboration effort between myself and FSR, we are actually going to be releasing a limited edition Psy version of this tent. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be calling that, maybe the Psy Series Aspen Light. And I'll talk more details about that in a little bit, but as of now, what you see is going to be very close to the final production version of the Aspen Light. So for starters, let's look at the overall dimensions. You will notice that this thing is a little bit bigger in some dimensions. We're looking at a length of 80 inches by 55 wide. And we've now made this thing a little bit thicker to accommodate some storage needs, coming in at about seven inches thick. Although this tent looks a lot thicker than the previous prototype, I'm happy to report that we are still right there on my goal at having a tent that is at right about 100 pounds. Anything more than 100 pounds when it comes to a tent, we're talking 120, 150, 175 pounds for a rooftop tent. It becomes a little bit cumbersome loading and unloading. It makes it a little bit harder to modify your truck. A tent that weighs 150 to 175 pounds, that becomes like a two person job. You need an extra hand to lift that thing off of whatever vehicle you are mounting it on. So although this thing is thicker, we are using a new extruded aluminum frame and believe it or not this thing is right around a hundred pounds which is pretty deceptive my first time picking this up I was very very surprised and I'm sure you guys will be too now on the outside you will notice that there is a soft cover for the tent this is a newer addition compared to the last prototype and originally I was not super stoked on like a soft cover tent however in this application I think it makes a lot of sense all of the Aspen lights will be shipping with these covers however you don't actually have to have it on there all the time the tent frame with the new extruded aluminum around there it's actually completely sealed from top to bottom completely weatherproof so the soft cover on here just gives you a little bit nicer of a presentation and it gives you a little bit of extra security and a little bit of protection to the top of this tent if I know I'm going out on a longer road trip and I'm gonna be camping and day after day I will probably just take the cover off and store it in the bed of the truck however in the winter months like we are in right now if I know I'm only gonna be camping for one night and then heading back home before I go out and camp again it's nice that I can throw that cover on there to keep snow and ice and dirt and mud and all sorts of other elements off of the top of the tent it just keeps it a little bit fresher again you don't need it it's completely weather sealed without it but I think it is a nice touch to include that the soft cover is held on by eight buckles which you can find all around the tent and if you decide that you are only going to be taking it off to pop the tent up and sleep in it and then you're going to put it back on in the morning what i've been doing is just unbuckling everything except the front two towards the cab of the truck and then the tent will still raise with that cover on there and it's not going anywhere now coming to the underside of this tent, you will notice that this thing looks a little bit different than before. We have added a few more cross members here for a little bit more support and everything is now coated in black, which really doesn't add any extra functionality. It's just making it look like a more completed project. We're using single T-nuts in a rail here to mount this up to whatever vehicle platform you may be running, whether it's a bed rack, a diamond back cover with a front runner rack like mine here, or even the top of something like a forerunner. This includes just eight bolts that you slide into place, fit it to your rack, and this thing ain't going anywhere. The all new black frame of this tent really blends in with the EPE foam on here, which is really what's keeping this thing lightweight. 
Having the exposed frame also gives you the option of mounting things like more buckles and other gear. Whatever you may have that you need to strap down to the truck, you can do it from the underside of this tent because we're not using just like a sheet of aluminum here. Now for a quick closer look at this frame, you will notice that it is pretty damn sleek as of right now. These little holes on the side here are going to be for a ladder mount. I personally am not using a ladder because obviously I just hop up on my tailgate, but for a vehicle like a 4Runner or any other kind of SUV, you will have the option to mount the ladder basically wherever you want, on either side or in the rear. One of the changes that I believe we will be implementing into the final production version of this tent is actually a track system on the side here. So you can move the ladder around to wherever you want you can move the latches around to wherever you want towards the back side of the tent here you will notice that we have some grab handles on here and once we have a track system in place you will be able to move all of those accessories around and probably add some other accessories as well I currently only have four latches on this tent, however, if you are putting more bedding and sleeping bags and pillows and stuff inside of here, with that track system you will be able to add more latches closer to the hinge side of the tent, allowing you to compress it and make sure it has a nice seal all the way around. Since I'm only running four latches, it is very easy to set up and take down, so let's see how long this takes. Ready, set, go. done not sure what that time was but I can tell you it was fast and it's about the same that it was before so behind me here is version 3 in all of its glory all black everything as of right now I believe my limited edition version will probably have some colors incorporated into it but I have to say that is a sharp looking tent one of the major changes that you may notice just from looking at it from the outside is that we have increased the angle that the tent actually opens to Doing this really increased the interior size and just like the whole feeling of it, how tall the tent actually is. And on this prototype, the struts still need a little bit of work. I believe we're going to bump those up to make it really stiff. That way, wind is not gonna give you any issue. Tonight is gonna be my first night staying in this final prototype and you guys will see that video here on the channel pretty soon. So higher roof angle on this tent, we're going to beef up those struts and you will notice that we still have tri-layer for the windows, the front door, and then we've improved the rain fly a little bit, just making it conform and fit the tent a little bit nicer. And that is something that will actually be replaceable in the future. Just like a lot of the Free Spirit tents, the tent fabric is actually attached to the frame. So in the unfortunate event that you do cut or burn or just mess up the tent material in some way, shape or form, you will be able to service this and kind of replace parts on it. Now along with this Aspen light, you will be receiving a ladder and then on the outside there is also a strap to grab the top of the tent to pull it closed, as well as boot and other gear bags which clip into place. I have removed those for my application because that's not something that I truly need in a tent. I'm trying to keep this thing as minimal as possible, but it is included in the final price. So that's about all for the notable changes on the outside of the tent, but now we're gonna move to the inside where you will notice some really solid changes and some of the things that I am most stoked for. All right, moving up top to the interior, got one window open here to cast a little bit of light. You will notice you can keep sleeping bags in here now, and that is thanks to the little bit of added thickness. We still, of course, have the tri-layer on the windows. Let's actually pop this one open as well. Nice big windows of natural light this will also act as a door if you are trying to get into the tent from the side and of course you have the biggest door the one that i enter through through the back of my tailgate with the increased pitch of the roof in here as well as the added supports of the frame underneath here this is like the perfect spot to sit and hang out we designed this opening to be a little bit higher that way when you sit on the edge of your bed right here in your tent you can look out and get a nice view without having to like duck down the views in this tent are pretty damn nice. Now, some of you may have noticed one of the major changes in here, the top of the tent, the roof area is now tri-layer as well. Instead of this thing just zipping up the middle, it zips around the outside that way. If you do run into the unfortunate event of 
cutting the material of the tent, maybe cutting the top, you can not only patch it from the outside, but also the inside here. So if I unzip that, it gives you access to the top of the frame and it makes this tent just more serviceable than ever. You will notice the storage pockets up here now have that clear material, which is perfect for sliding in an iPad or a phone for movie night in the tent. That thing is held in place much better than it was before and it is removable. So if you don't need that extra storage up there, you can pop that out. We of course have the same storage pockets as before on each side of the entryway here. And if I reach in here, I have a little power bank. What could this be for? The tent finally has lights. So over here in the front right corner, I can plug the lights in, make sure this battery bank is on, and we have a new set of lights. Press and hold that, and it illuminates the entire tent. I'll actually show you guys some night footage of what this looks like right here. And the brightness of these lights is also adjustable, so if you just want a little bit of ambient reading light, you can turn those all the way down. Or if you're waking up and you need to see everything in the tent, you can crank that up and then it is fairly bright inside of here. One more change to note would be the top ventilation ports up here. These are the same as before. They have a little flap on the outside to allow some air to pass through the top of the tent. Now, I'm happy to report that there is a bug mesh on there. That way, if you have these vents open and leave them open, you will now not get any bugs crawling in here at night. And that is a super easy sort of no-brainer kind of addition. Now, if I come around to the outside of the tent here, you will notice that we do have the electric pass-throughs, and this was kind of the same as before. One thing that I believe we are going to change on here is we're gonna make these circular to allow for a diesel heater tube pass-through. It's gonna work the same as an electric pass-through, but as a circle, you can fit a tube through there, and that's another one of those kind of no-brainers. Why not make it a circle, use it for electrical, use it for diesel? whatever you wanna do. So that will be coming in the final edition. Now last but certainly not least, if I move some of these bags out of the way, you will notice we have a new mattress, perfectly fit for the Aspen Light. This Free Spirit mattress is going to be known as the Air Core mattress, and these are going to come standard on all of the tents, including this one. You will notice that the fill valves are not over by this door side anymore in order to allow them to fit better with other tent models because a lot of them are utilizing the same footprint like the Evo and the Odyssey. The inflate and deflate valves are now located here over by the windows. Now all I have to do is hook up a little rechargeable pump like this to that port. Now that took only about 10 seconds because this mattress is a little bit thinner than the previous one. It is a mixture of memory foam and of course air cores. So you could let it self inflate by just simply opening the valve and letting the memory foam suck in as much air as possible. Or you can add a little bit more to make it nice and rigid. This thing is now coming in at three inches thick instead of four, allowing you to store even more gear inside of the tent. That way, whenever I head out on the trails, all my bags and pillows are in here, ready to go at a moment's notice. So now for the part that you guys have all been waiting for, the price point, when you can actually pre-order these tents and when you can receive them. I do have a little bit more testing to do with this final prototype before I can actually submit all of my final design changes, but that will be happening this weekend actually. Three days from when this video goes live, I'm going to have a few nights in this tent underneath my belt and I'm going to submit some of those last minute design changes and then these things will go into full blown production. So now for the price of the Aspen Light and it's going to be the same for my signature series, these things are going to be coming out at a price of $26.95, which is a little bit over that $2,500 mark that I was really shooting for. However, if you guys have been following along and you've been watching all these videos anticipating this tent launch, I'm going to have a $150 off code for my viewers and my viewers alone. So if you're interested in this tent or my limited edition version of this tent, you're going to be able to pick it up at right about that price point. Now the most important thing, mark your calendars. If you are around the Denver area, Colorado area, specifically Golden, maybe you're in a neighboring state but you wanna get your hands on this tent first. 
March 18th. We're going to be hosting an open house party shindig type of event at Free Spirit Recreation in Golden, Colorado. You can expect some food, some music, and of course that will be the official launch of this tent as well as my limited edition. Pre-orders will begin in person that day on March 18th. So again, mark your calendars, make sure you guys know about this so you can come out Hang out with me, my friends, the Free Spirit team. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun and I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on some more details of that event here in the future. If you're able to come out to the event, you will get first dibs on these tents. I'm not exactly sure how many we will have right from the jump. I'm not sure if we are going to sell out, but it's a possibility. So for first dibs, come to the event on March 18th. Otherwise, if you can't make it out to the event, March 21st is going to be the launch date for these tents. I will keep you guys up to date as much as possible when this launch is coming. And then if you are one of the lucky ones who gets this tent first, I believe we're expecting the tents to ship in early May. So you will have this thing at the end of spring, early summer, and since it's tri -layer, it's got a mattress, it's got all the goodies built into it, you can really enjoy this thing year round. Now if you guys have any questions on this tent, please let me know in the comments down below. This is going to be the last time for you guys to submit any feedback. Give me your thoughts on it. You're gonna see me using this tent over the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna throw in a bunch of different tent reviews and winter solo camping content. But then early March, I will have the first production model of my Signature Series tent and I am so incredibly stoked to share that with you guys. Gotta give a huge thank you to FSR for working with me on this project. You can check out their website for all of their different tent offerings or just come out to the event, meet them in person and check out all of their new tents that they're releasing this year because They've got some cool ones, not just this right here. You guys may see some more of that on the channel here soon. So that is all that I had for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.